In this video, you will see the simple steps that are required to set up the allocation time periods that are available to users in the new User Experience Interface of CAPPM. Data in the Resource Management Views of the new UX is displayed in the fiscal time periods that are set up in the default entity in the Classic UI. If you have multiple entities, you need to identify the default as the one that will determine the time periods that are available for the resource management views. You might also like to set up a new entity that is purely used for the views. We will begin by examining the impact of the fiscal time periods on the telescope calendar functionality in the new UX. In the telescope window, you can see four weekly periods in March and April 2017 followed by four monthly periods from April to July 2017, followed by seven quarterly periods from quarter 3 2017 to quarter 1 2019, and finally two yearly periods, 2019 and 2020. These are the periods that you can select from to define the focus area that is displayed in the views. The new settings page is where you define how many periods of each period type are available. You can access the settings page from the user drop-down menu. Here you see the time period settings are four weeks, four months, seven quarters, and four years. Only two years were in the telescope that you saw earlier. This is because no more years have been set up as fiscal time periods for the default entity in the Classic UI. When you define the settings, this is a personal definition that does not affect other users. The settings persist until you change them or reset them to the default settings. If you do not want to show weeks, you can update the first period type to be months. Now we will examine the default entity settings in the Classic UI. The administrators of your system need to identify the time periods that are available within the pages of the new UX. If necessary, a new entity can be created for this purpose. From the Administration menu, you click on the Finance and then Setup link you can then access the Entities page. Here you see that we have already set up a new entity for the new user experience. Notice that the Corp Entity is currently set as the default. We will examine the new user experience entity. In particular, we will examine the fiscal time periods. It is important to create sufficient periods for the views. Notice that all weeks have been renamed from the default long name except one. You will see what this affects later. Also, five of the weekly time periods are not active. There are also quarterly time periods. The weeks go to the end of 2017. The quarters go to Q2 of 2018. There is only one year, 2019. There are no monthly time periods defined. We have on purpose not defined all the quarters and the year for 2018 to show how this affects the available periods in the new UX. It is important to note that the new UX does not support the period types of 13 periods or semi-monthly. We have set this entity to be the default and will review the new UX views again. The view has been updated to only show the available time periods that are linked to the newly set default entity. Notice the column header for the third week is not fully displayed. This is the weekly fiscal period that was left with the default long name in Classic CAPPM. Notice also, these time periods that are not active in the Classic UI are still available to the new UX. If we examine the telescope window, we see the limited number of periods. We also see the full title for the week where we had not updated the name. There are four weeks, five quarters, and one year. Let's re-examine the settings page to see what differences there are. The settings have not been affected by the new default entity. The settings are just as they were, even though no monthly time periods have been created in the default entity. We will update these settings. We have selected three weeks, seven quarters, and two years. The view has updated. The telescope window shows what it can from the periods that are defined on the settings page. Unfortunately, not enough quarters or years have been defined in the Classic UI. It is very important to maintain the fiscal periods to help ensure your users can analyze the resource allocations in the new UX. Thank you for watching this video. 
For more detailed information about CAPPM, click on the Information Bubble in the top right corner to load the product page. From there you can go to Product Documentation, visit CA Communities, or see the learning path.